We're here with two beautiful people from the Salvador Dali Museum. None of this is melting, no clocks. Erase all those cliches because they do much more interesting things there at the Dali Museum. And one of the things they did was the Visual Culture Cat Museum, which won for best exhibit at a museum from a critic's pick, from our Megan Bowler uh, art critic, selected this. And that's a pretty big deal, best exhibit at a museum, because there are a lot of museums and a lot of exhibits at museums. So why do you think this won? We are honored, and I think um, it, it really stands out. You know, there were a lot of great exhibits this year. But uh, there was something that this had that nothing else seemed to. Well, what, what, what was it about? It's hard to put my finger on. Um, well, there were a series of books and uh, print publications that sort of defied the boundaries of your typical book. I mean, when the curators were talking to us about it at first, I was expecting to see a pile of dusty old tomes from a library. And they set up the exhibit, and it was slick and glossy in these beautiful cases with not just a standard bound book that you would open, but multimedia practically. There, were, there was a video of pieces being created, and there were uh, boxes that you could take objects out of that were sent as periodicals. Like you, there was a series of these nine boxes that went oh, yeah. to a limited edition uh, of, of, of collectors. So just the, the print publication in every form, and, and a very contemporary, which, you know, steps out of what we normally do. People think of the Dali and they think, well, Dali is no longer with us, so all of the works are, you know, the works of a, a dead artist. And what is there new and fresh and exciting? And this is a great example of something that was. Yeah. Uh, this is Mitzi Gordon, if I didn't introduce her already, from the Dali. And this is Lee, who only goes by one name, like Cher, who also works at the Dali. But I want to give her a special shout out because she represented for her town. The, the, we uh, gave the award, it's an upset this year, for best neighborhood to downtown St. Petersburg, and only Lee was willing to stand up and be counted for her town. Can you talk about this courageous act? Yes, I am very happy to represent the downtown St. Petersburg neighborhood as being a resident of downtown St. Petersburg neighborhood for two years now. Two. Definitely. Where do you live? Two years. You don't have to give an address. But. I live uh, just about two blocks from the museum. Um, now, yes, two blocks. Uh, I walk to work every day. I walk to the grocery store. I walk to the pharmacy. I walk to Red Mesa Cantina. I walk to MFA. Mexican restaurant in the Breeders' Bowl? Yes. Oh, no, what yes. no, Red Mesa was. Red Mesa well, Cantina. Red Mesa Cantina, I get to walk to Push, I get to walk to the Pier, I get to walk to any number of fantastic restaurants, exhibits, galleries, shops, and do tons of shopping and spend tons of money that I don't get paid because I work at a wonderful nonprofit and get paid in warm fuzzies. So downtown St. Petersburg, you owe this woman a raise, collectively, <laughs> because she is standing up for your town. Yes. And, and also, I want to say just about the Dali in closing, pretty soon, when? When's the date of the new January museum? January 11. 2000, January 2011. 2011. We're working in binary 11. code here. So the giant blob, this wonderful looking, strange yeah. the creation. The glass enigma. The glass enigma, otherwise known as the giant blob, <laughs> will, will grow uh, next to the Mahaffey in downtown St. Pete, making downtown St. Pete an even better place to live thanks to the Dali. Keep your ears open. Best Stay of the bay. Thank you. Thank you.